To import tile maps into your Flutter game, you'll need the tile map that we produced in the previous video. This tutorial will of course work with your own tile map if you used the same format using TMX with Tiled D. Create a brand new Flutter project and enable the Android platform. The two main Flutter packages that we're using are Flame for most of the game uh, systems and flame underscore tile D, that would be to import the maps into flame. So we first ordered flutter pub add flame and then flutter pub add flame underscore tiled. So create the subdirectory assets and there's two types of assets that we're gonna be dealing with. One of these graphic files, they look like um, trees or grass. And so we're gonna call that images. And another one is these text files that we're going to call tiles. So we have images and tiles now in our assets directory. I'm also going to move the tile, uh, the, the tile graphic that we used in the previous to video and put it into the assets folder, assets slash images. So I'll have that graphics tile sheet sitting in my assets slash images. Okay, so start a VS Code or uh, whatever editor you're using. And I'm just gonna check to make sure that I have the graphics file that I moved over from the command line. So it's assets images. Uh, it's this old underscore Japan dot PNG set that I'm using. And I've also got to move over the, the, uh, the map, the TMX file, which is a text file. I'm gonna put into tiles. So even though the subdirectory says tiles, that's where I'm storing the, uh, the map information data for the tiles. This TMX file is a, a editable piece of text in XML format. So we can, um, we should be able to just drag and drop it in here and then edit it within VS Code. I'm just gonna change the location of the graphics file within the TMX file. So pop it open and look for the portion where it has the PNG file of your, of your graphics file here. And just make sure it's pointing to the right directory. In this case, it's up one directory, dot dot is up one slash images. So up one, then down again into images. And that's where the graphic file is. So I'm going to go back into main.dart, delete most of the code here so we can focus in on the core part, which would be flame. I'm going to set up a, a new class that extends flame game. Flame game is from the flame package. And so we'll call it some name, uh, tile tutorial game. And then within the run app, we're gonna put the game widget, which is from flame. And we're gonna instantiate tile tutorial game in there to get things started. Before we can load the graphics and the map file, we're going to need to uh, update the pubspec.yaml and specify where the assets are. So under the assets section, you're going to have to point it to both the graphics file and the TMX file. So we've got it in assets slash images and it's the name of the file, right? So this is the PNG graphics file that has all the, the pieces of our map on it. And then there's another file which specifies which pieces of the map to use. And I've called that the tutorial underscore map dot TMX file. So that, that TMX file is the data file to tell it which pieces of the map to use. Now that we have the assets loaded, make sure you run flutter pub get if it doesn't run automatically for you. We can now start loading the uh, the map file. So we're going to load it in the onload method. The onload method is from flame. So it's a future, which means that we're waiting at some point in the future to things for things to load. So that's why we're use async and the keyword await from dart. Uh, we're just going to wait for the super method to load up and then we'll start accessing the map file right here.
We're going to use the tiled component, which is from flame underscore tiled. It's not part of flame. So you have to add the separate component in in order to start using the tiled maps from tiled. tiled. So the syntax is await tiled component. I'm going to load it. The first parameter is the TMX file that we created in the previous video. So this one we just copied over. Um, we specified it in our pubspec.yaml file and it's in our assets folder. And you just type the file name right there that has all the data for how we want to render our map. And then it's the size of each individual tile which you specified when you created it with tiled. So it's 32 by 32 pixels for each tile. And now we simply add the map to our game and we should be good to go. Let's see. So that add keyword is from flame. It's something to add to the flame game to make it appear on your screen. And let's restart our game. Boom, there it is. The map is appearing. The next video will cover some movement here. There are many other videos in the 2022 Flame Tutorial Series, as well as 26 videos in the 2021 series. Subscribe to the channel for future updates. These videos are on Teachable as a free course. There is no upsell as this is purely a hobby for me. I'm using Teachable only for the progress so you can see how far you have progressed with the course. It also makes it easier for me to organize the videos and the sequence of information that I'm presenting. In whatever way you choose to learn, the most important thing is to keep on trying to learn and have fun while doing it. Have a great day.